Some people hear about the silver method and think, visualization, brain states, sounds like hocus pocus. But what if I told you, it's not only real, it's measurable. The science behind it has been sitting in neuroscience textbooks for decades. Think of your brain like a high-powered computer. It runs different programs at different speeds. But here's the thing. Most people never leave the overdrive setting, which is the beta mode. Your brain communicates in electrical pulses, brain waves. Measured in hertz, they fall into ranges. Beta is fast, busy, and analytical, but also where stress and anxiety live. Alpha is slower, 8 to 13 hertz, linked to calm focus. Theta is slower still, 4 to 7 hertz, your dream and deep imagination state. EEG studies show that when you consciously shift from beta to alpha or theta, your brain's hemispheres synchronize and your parasympathetic nervous system takes over, making everything flow effortlessly. If your brain were a radio, beta is all static. But in alpha and theta, the signal comes through clear. That's when you can record new information, rewrite old patterns, and pull ideas from places your conscious mind can't reach. The silver method exercises simply teach you to move your brain into alpha or theta deliberately, instead of waiting for it to happen by chance. In controlled studies, alpha state training has been shown to improve memory recall by up to 30%, increase creative problem-solving scores and boost intuitive accuracy, reduce stress indicators like heart rate and blood pressure, and even boost manifestation by aligning mental imagery with your brain's goal-driven activity. So no, it's not magic, and it's not mysticism. It's just science applied to your brain. The real question isn't whether it works. It's when you'll put it to work for you.